Hi everyone, I'm Yolanda. Welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I will be making a patriotic cake to celebrate Independence Day. So let's get started. I'm going to be decorating this cake with different uh, decorations. One of them will be bubbles. So I'm going to make these bubbles with water balloon these tiny ones i'm also going to be using some lollipop sticks i got the large ones you could get the small ones too um, i'm going to be using four envelopes of gelatin no flavor gelatin also i'm going to be using half a cup of water in a microwave safe container like this one here we will be using a spoon adhesive tape i suggest you pre-cut the tapes before you start using it color um, i'm going to stick with the blue i'm going to use the blue for the bubbles and also some luster dust if you like the first thing that we are going to use is um, pour the content of the packets, the gelatin, into the recipient with the water and we will take that to the microwave. We will microwave that in intervals of 5 or 10 minutes. But before that, let's add some color. You see how now it's getting a little bit thick? So when you put it in the microwave and when you are done um, with uh, intervals of 5 or 10 minutes, then the mixture should be liquid. Meanwhile, I have prepared my balloons already and here they are on a cylinder of styrofoam for support and I'm going to show you how to make the balloons how to prepare the balloons you just inflate one of them then you make a knot and now you attach the lollipop stick using the adhesive tape just like so and then you set it you sit it on the styrofoam until you are ready to use it So now what I'm doing is I am preparing the balloons, putting some vegetable shortening all around it so that way the balloons will not stick to the bubbles. Also if you notice I place some old newspaper underneath the styrofoam to protect my table. And now to continue with the process since my mixture is ready i am going to submerge the balloons in the liquid very easily i'm going to do that to each one of the balloons Being sure that I shake off any excess so that way the balloons will not dry with lumps. If you see that the balloons coating is too thin then you can let the balloons dry and then dip the balloons in the mixture again after it's been dry you can do that two or three times if you like so here are all my balloons they've been prepared i am going to let them dry for 24 hours or even longer after 24 hours, here are all my balloons. They are completely dry and ready 
for my project. I'm cutting around the lollipop stick because I like to remove the the bulb the balloon from inside the bubbles. So this is what I'm doing now. If the balloon gets stuck inside the bubble, just take the stick, the lollipop stick, and try to scrape it out very carefully not to damage the bubble. Sometimes if you get lucky, you can take out, you can remove the lollipop stick and the balloon right away. All the times they get stuck and you have to cut around to get them out. I'm going to do the same thing with all my balloons and all my bubbles and then when I'm done I'll come back. This is the chevron stripes pattern that I'm going to be using for the cake. I printed this pattern out from the internet and I cut it the same width as my cake plus I added an extra inch and a half. So right now I'm going to lay it flat because I'm going to be using this to make my pattern out of fondant and for that I'm going to be using this paper ribbon that you see right here I'm going to be using this as a guide to cut the fondant ribbons just like you see here I like to show you how I cut the, the ribbons First, I dust my surface with either cornstarch or powdered sugar. Then, I roll out my fondant to about one eighth of an inch in thickness. Now I take the paper ribbon and I'm going to put some vegetable shortening in back of it and then I'm going to turn it and stick it onto the fondant. The vegetable shortening serves as an adhesive to stick the paper onto the fondant. Using an exacto knife and being very carefully, you cut around and using the paper ribbon as a guide. You cut all the way th you cut all the way through until you are finished. I'm going to cut all of them and when I'm finished, I'm going to come back. Now I take a piece of wax paper, the same length and, and height as of the pattern. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it to the pattern using some vegetable shortening, just a little bit on each corner.
Now you are going to take some vegetable shortening and you are going to spread it on the wax paper. This will cause the, the fondant ribbon to stick to the wax paper. And just the same way that I'm placing the first ribbon on the wax paper, this is how I'm going to do with the rest of them. Now I have all of my ribbons here on the pattern. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread a little bit of the vegetable shortening on top. This will help the ribbons to attach to the fondant on the cake. As you can see, I have already prepared my cake beforehand and I covered it with fondant and now it's ready to receive those um, chevron stripes ribbons. Very gently, I'm just going to hug the cake with the, the, the pattern and the wax paper. And now gently remove the pattern and continue to smooth the fondant and now gently we remove the wax paper. Once I remove the wax paper then I'm going to fix whatever needs to be fixed. If any of the ribbons is out of place then I'll fix it. I will also remove any excess um, vegetable shortening that is on either the cake or on the stripes. I'm going to remove that and then we will continue. And as you can see, I've already placed my second tier on top of the first tier. Now, using buttercream, I'm going to attach the bubbles on the cake. I will show you how they would look on the side first. Then I'm going to remove all of them and just place them on top. So here is the finished product. As you can see, I also added some stars since we are celebrating Independence Day. And so this is the final product. 
I thank you for being with me. This is all for today. I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial as much as I did. Please share and if you like the tutorial, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I will see you back here the next time with another tutorial similar to this one. In the meantime, may God bless you.